Every day we are involved in real life interactions. For second language learners in English, it is important to know which speech acts are different when we translate our first language to our target language. This is what we are going to discuss. Good day students, welcome back to our oral communication class. We have learned the types of speech contexts, speech styles, and now the types of speech acts. These are the goals for our lesson. You are going to identify the types of speech acts and respond appropriately and effectively to a speech act. Look at the following pictures. I know these are viral posts that we have seen in our social media news feed. What can you say about the pictures? What prompted you to comment on that specific issue or meme? Young people love to read and watch memes. We Filipinos love memes, don't we? Most likely, the intention of the one doing it is to make fun. But others couldn't get the meaning of each meme or joke if they are not familiar of the situation. These are utterances. When we speak a language, we are performing a speech act. Utterances are not only a set of phrases but also a kind of intentional action. Of course, speakers of these acts are not truly successful until the intended meaning they want to convey are understood by the listeners. What is a speech act? According to dictionary.com, speech act is any of the acts that may be performed by a speaker in making an utterance, as stating, asking, requesting, advising, warning, or persuading. They are considered in terms of the content of the message, the intention of the speaker, and the effect on the listener. A speech act may just may contain just one word like sorry or thanks. Let's take into consideration that speech acts require not only knowledge of the language but also appropriate use of that language within a given culture. When we know when to speak, what to talk about with whom, when, where, in what manner, this means that we become capable of accomplishing a repertoire of speech acts and we can be part of any speech events. What is an example of a speech act? When we greet, we say, Hi! How are you? How are things going? In Filipino, we say, Musta! Kubusta! To some, when we say, Hey! That's a bad greeting. People find it negative in meaning. They would say, I'm not an animal, so don't say hey. We also give compliments. By the way, thank you for your comments. I am inspired to read your requests. Your thank you notes are awesome. That's an example of a speech act. What more? When we complain, refuse, or being invited. But second language learners like we Filipinos get confused when performing speech acts because when we translate from English to our dialect, we do it word for word or sometimes the meaning is not the same from the intended meaning. Example, if, if I say, I couldn't agree with you anymore, you might react negatively because you were thinking you liked my idea. But actually, the meaning is, I liked your idea. According to Austin, there are three different types of speech acts. The first one is locutionary act. Is it familiar? Don't worry, our lesson is super easy. It is the act of making a meaningful utterance. When we produce an utterance, that is called a locutionary act. When a speaker says, it is raining outside, that is the literal meaning of utterance. If we have difficulty forming the sounds and words to create meaningful utterance, then we may fail to produce a locutionary act. That's why you have to produce clearly the words. The second is a locutionary act. It is the speaker's intention in delivering an utterance. It is the act accomplished in speaking and defined within a system of social conventions. A locutionary act would include stating, promising, apologizing, threatening, ordering, predicting, and requesting. In the example, 
it is raining outside that utterance would mean as the speaker wishes or wants the hearer to use umbrella if he or she goes out or the speaker wants you not to go out because it is still raining outside the third is perlocutionary act it is an action or state of mind brought about or by or as a consequence of saying something this is the effect of the utterance on the hearer depending on specific circumstances this refers to the consequent effect of the utterance on the hearer of the overall aim of the utterance it's according to wagiman 2008 it includes such effects as persuading embarrassing intimidating irritating or inspiring the hearer example it is raining outside what is the perlocutionary effect from this utterance the hearer may use the umbrella when he or she goes out or will stay while waiting for the rain to subside let's summarize the example it is raining outside these are the types of speech act locutionary it is raining outside the literal meaning the utterance it is clearly uttered elocutionary the speaker wants the hearer to use an umbrella or the speaker wants the hearer not to go out perlocutionary the hearer may use an umbrella when he or she goes out or the hearer may stay while waiting for the rain to subside. Take note of the elocutionary and perlocutionary. The elocutionary part is the speaker's wish for the hearer to do. The perlocutionary is, it is the hearer's part to do. Example 2. It's hot in here. The locutionary is, literally this is the statement of fact. Elocutionary is the intention to get someone to open the window or an indirect request for someone to open the window. The elocutionary is requesting an indirect refusal to close the window when someone says he is cold. That's refusing or a complaint implying that someone should know better than to keep the windows closed. That is expressed emphatically. The perlocutionary this could result in someone opening the windows if you want more examples or if you are still confused with the explanation just write in the comment section below to summarize locutionary act is what we say or the production of meaningful utterances and expressions like let's go come here who are you and more which leads to a locutionary act the intention of producing meaning meaningful expression this is what we mean when we say like promising or offering which causes the performance of the perlocutionary act which is the effect of the locutionary and elocutionary act like our behavior feeling or belief meaning what we accomplish by saying it we will continue our discussion on speech acts part two happy learning see you